You know, the reality is that the digital natives are already connected with each other. They don't need to leave the house to have these conversations. They're texting, they're on the phone, well, they're not really on the phone. They're texting, they're on Facebook, they're doing... Well, mobility well, certainly means something different to them than mobility 25 years ago. Absolutely. So they value devices more than, well, the ultimate mobile device, right, the car. Um, so it's our responsibility to figure out a way to connect with this generation and when they do finally buy a car to make them feel that they're not leaving their digital life behind. Okay, and there's two, there's two uh, things about that I want to talk about. In terms of getting in with them, really understanding how they think and where we can connect with them, Ford actually developed a relationship with Zipcar, where we're part of the Zipcar U program. So 90% of the vehicles that Zipcar offers on college campuses nationwide are now Ford vehicles. That's like a Trojan horse of getting in with these people, getting them to have some kind of partial ownership and experience these cars early on. When they do eventually decide to buy a car, that's gonna be deeply implanted in their mind. And when they get into these cars, they're bringing in their iPhones and their Androids and they can connect and stay connected with each other. Okay, so that's one thing. And then the other is, in terms of that connection while they're in the vehicle, our sync platform, our My Ford Touch platform, is based on three really important keys. Built-in, beamed-in, and brought-in technology. Okay, the built-in is, of course, the infrastructure, the hardware that we provide. The brought-in is whatever phone or device you happen to bring in, iPod, iPhone, Android device, Blackberry, it works with virtually anything, now tablets too. And then the beam in, which is probably the most important one, is grabbing data from the cloud in real time. Whether it's traffic data, whether it's in the future your, your Facebook profile data, so your friends check in at a restaurant can be, can be fed into your directions and you can automatically be routed there. There's all sorts of applications that we're working on with that beamed in data. So uh, I think that's interesting. And just to know, my partner has said that he's done some uh, uh, survey work and they, uh, 46 percent of millennials, 18 to 24 year olds, said that they would choose being on the internet over their car, and it's a single digits for 45 to 64 year olds who say the same thing. So I think their point is. And, and there's a lot of people out there who don't necessarily make a choice. They're in the car and they're on the internet, right. and that's dangerous. It's yeah. inherently dangerous, and we as automakers need to take a lead in terms of helping create a safer environment inside the vehicle. That's exactly what we're doing for. So we have a question.